All right, let's just follow this road a little bit. See if we can run into a trader. Ah, I think this is one over here. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so that was one of my goals I wanted to do in this video. Let's find a trader, show you what they look like. Really cool looking camp. Yeah, let's check this out. Hey everybody, welcome back to Junk Survivor. Alright, I got a lot I want to get done in this episode. I have learned quite a bit about the game since a lot. my last episode. That was just, uh, I just jumped in and started recording. I hadn't looked at it yet. So I figured out a few things. Uh, number one, our mallet here. We can pull that out. And if we right click, we can destruct, destruct repair, or I'm sorry, upgrade foundations. So that's what we do with the mallet. I was uh, That was one of my questions in the last episode was how to get rid of this stuff. But uh, I don't want to get rid of it yet because our bed roll we can't pick up. This is one of the things that the developer will put in the upcoming update. That's supposed to be out in a couple days. So that's number one. Number two is the pickaxe can be used to tear down some furniture. So we're going to go back to town. Uh, that's where we get leather from the furniture. Uh, let's see, I'm at level three. And I, my next thing I wanted to talk about was the healing. Um, food doesn't heal you yet. That's going to be in the next update also. And w the next time I get a point, a skill point, I'm going to put it in this mending. And that has, has automatic health regeneration. So that's a big deal because currently there's no way to build a band or craft a bandage until you make a workbench. And then we can add a a uh, band-aid learn how to craft a band-aid the workbench but this is automatic health regeneration so I want to do that next time I get a skill point but we are a ways away so let's go into town and I'm gonna see if I can break down some of this furniture and hopefully get we need to craft the workbench we need five leather 150 wood five I got the wood I just need to uh, get some leather and that's what I saw that you can break down some furniture not all but some furniture we also currently have no food and no water there is I know what I want to build there are trading camps in the game so that's also I want to want, what I want to try to get done in this episode is find one of the trading camps and that's where I want to build there's probably some food in these restaurants all right let me check see if this guy respond in here and he did I think these hooded guys actually are a little tougher yeah it's taking more hits he's taking more hits rather okay we got him but we're hurting uh, what's he got oh he got some book book plane chair what's that can be used in hot bar learn how to build a plane chair oh it's a book okay that's kind of cool but yeah, now, so I'm down to 45 on my health, and I don't know if I can take on three zombies at once with the health the way it is. Car park crate. Okay, we looted this last time, so that did not respond. Yeah, man, I want to go in that house. We've looted all this. Oh, not that. Uh, he's also going to balance the meat. Uh, it, it goes down way too fast. Can I sneak through here? Hey, maybe I can. Oh, there's three more there, though. Hey, maybe I can go in here. Maybe there's some food in here? Oh, we can't loot that? That stinks. Electric wire, empty can. Yeah, I need to find some food. Okay, there's some canned meat. I'm gonna eat that. So when you die, uh, you do have a little time to get back to your body and your stuff. All right, there's water. I'm gonna hang on to that. Uh, so the camp, the trader camp, you can refill water, your water bottles. So I did watch a video. Uh, that's pretty cool. And there's no way around these guys. Um, let's let I can sneak around this way. I don't want to take. There's four of them over there. I don't want to take them on with 45 health. 
All right. There's a car over there. Yeah, I want to get that cafe coffee shop. But let's see. I just got to get some furniture. I think the guys with the hoods are different. I think it takes you know, several more shots to take them down than just the regular zombies. Oh, we can block also with right. I forget about that. And I think we can break down cars also. So we got here. Can. What's that? Ah, one piece of leather. Cool. Nothing in that. Oh, this is a house. Parts. And now I have no more room. Alright, let's see if I can break this furniture down. Yeah. I'm getting some leather. I think I got one piece of leather out of that. I need three more. Can I do this without them coming in? I want to make the workbench and see what other stuff is in there. Uh, I need two more pieces of leather. Get parts. Some kind of parts. What is that? Metal scrap, okay. Makes sense. Give me some leather. There's one. Alright, one more. Alright, cheer. Be good to me. There's a lot of POIs here. Alright, I got my leather that I need. I actually got one more leather that I need. Alright, let's see if we can sneak out of here and see if we can find a town. I'm going to save. Now, of course, I will have to come back and find my other box, my other storage box. But I think I can find it. So there's no map. I think it's going to make a map. All right, let's see if we can find one of these. I know what the trader places look like. And what I want to do, I want to try to build just outside one of those trader places. And I'll show you why. Because you can you can use them to get resources like water. I just have no idea where they're at. So we're going to avoid the zombies. There's a water tower. Oh gosh, look at all the zombies over there. And there's a truck. I think that might be one that can actually be repaired. Yeah, a lot of a lot of buildings that can be looted. Really cool. So I'm excited about uh, you know the developer is very active. He's gonna update. All right, let's cut cross country here. He's gonna put animals in the game. Something's gonna add animals that can be killed for food. Oh, we're at the end. Yeah, I have hit a brick wall. Okay. All right, let's just follow this road a little bit. See if we can run into a trader. Ah, I think this is one over here. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so that was one of my goals I wanted to do in this video. Let's find a trader, show you what they look like. Really cool looking camp. Yeah, let's check this out. Don't know if this is totally safe zone or not. All right, so let me... Check this out. So we got water here, water catcher, and you have to. There's already already some wood in it, but you can add wood to it. I'm gonna throw all my water bottles in there, turn it on, and we are filling up our water. It takes what 30 seconds, and you see it burns fuel or burns wood. Yeah. All right. Cool. 
Now let's check this rest of this area out. I think this is a car. Can I loot this? Oh, absolutely. Oh man, I don't have any room. Um. Oh, I guess let me take it. All right, so this guy is a. <laughs> what do you want? Start trade. All right, so he sells car parts. And how much money do we have? Does it, where's it show how much money I have? I don't know. And I don't know what this means here, this number here. That's That comes up when I'm not talking. What does this number mean here? I don't know. So this guy... Start trade... Okay, all he sells is all he sells is truck parts, car parts. All right, but I don't know how much money I have. Where does it show how much money I have? Buy price is three hundred. So if I had lights, he would buy them for twenty. And he sells it for two hundred. That doesn't sound like a very good deal to me. But it doesn't. How much, I don't know how much money I have. Maybe I don't have any. I thought I picked some up. All right, let's see what else we can do here. None of this stuff is lootable. Can't go in there. All right, this is lootable. What's this guy do? Books trader. All right, so he's getting. He sells books on how to... Oh, crop plot. Hey, we have the soft... Book soft chair. Where's that at? Right here. Oh, book plane chair. $125. So I could sell it to him for five. Well, that's not a very good <laughs> deal. <laughs> All right, we're going to hold off on that. Uh, I wonder if I can just read it. For five coins, what do I do? Can be used in a hot bar. Learn how to build a plain chair. You add plain chair blueprint to workbench crafting list. All right, so if we hit four and four. New blueprint, plain chair. Okay, so that should add it to my workbench. That's the way I gather that. All right, so he's just got books. So see, we're not, my my health's at 45. I mean, we are not. Our health's not coming up at all. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little shower. You can't use it, but it's cool. All right. So now we've got we got ash and we got water bottles. So these are usable. And oh, I already had one. Okay, cool. So now we got a water source. So this is what I'm saying. This is why I want to build outside one of these camps. Alright, so there's only two traders here. So there's other... I think there's four camps. Don't quote me on that, but I think there's four camps. But that's why I need that health regeneration because... Uh, you know, I'm getting... I'm not gaining any health at all. Alright, so what I... My plan is I'm just going to build right outside here if it'll let me. Oh, I don't have my blueprint book with me. Darn it. Well, let's see. Can I make another one? Yeah, I got the fiber. I'm just going to make another one. And I read that the people were having start issues with the uh, the foundation snapping. And it's and the developer knows it's a bit of an issue. Uh, he said, I kind of just point a little below it. He knows it's an issue. He's working on it. Let's get our torch out. I've got an extra torch that I built. Yeah, so those snap together. It's just a little little finicky. Just a little finicky. Alright, let me see if I can craft another bedroll. And let's see. Cloth. Yeah. We're gonna make this our new home. So let's go three. And the bedroll he's gonna make also where it can be picked up. Currently we can't pick it up. And that's just horrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he'll make the update. He'll make that where it can be moved. I 
yeah. When you destroy it, it literally destroys it. There's no going back. All right, let's go ahead and uh, drink some water. Keep that up. Uh, I want to put my storage chest down. Let's stay right here. Uh, let's go ahead and build one of those. Oh, I don't have any nails. Darn it. Okay. And I'm hoping maybe in the new update he'll let us pick stuff up. Hopefully. Alright, so we have what we need now to build the workbench. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and craft that. There we go. Alright, I'm going to put that down on my bar. And... I'm going to have to just wait through the night because we can't sleep through the night. And again, he's going to put that in the next update where we can sleep through the night. So I'm going to gather up some materials while I'm waiting here for the night to pass. And then when it comes to daylight, I'll show you guys the work. We'll be able to work, put the workbench down. I don't want to do it in the dark because I don't want to be all jacked up. So there's a fireplace here. And I got my spoiled meat I'm going to put in there. I think eventually this might be used for uh, fertilizer, for growing crops and stuff. So I'm just going to leave that in there for now. Give me an extra storage slot. Alright, we made it to day four, guys. I've just been, just been gathering a little lumber here. I'm waiting for it to get daylight. So we can see. Alright, we just leveled up. What I was trying to do to get that extra point so I could show you and show myself how this works. So I want to put it in mending right here. Okay, I've got one of the skill point. Why won't let me put it in mending? Does that have to coincide with character? Alright, so which one affects the stock of maximum health? Okay, I know it's not that one. Until it's Affects the base damage to ore veins and trees when gathering resources. Luck. Affects the chance of critical damage. Health regeneration. Regenerating the character's health points. That's what I want. Uh, but which one tells me... Yeah, I want health regeneration. But I don't know which characteristic that is in. Oh, we gotta, it requires level 5. Darn it. Okay. What's this? Okay, this doesn't have a requirement. So I could put one in here to make a band-aid. But does that hit, increase our health? I don't know. So we have to be level 5 to get to here. Alright, let's go ahead and put one in here. And then I should learn how to craft a band-aid in the workbench. Alright, so the next time, we'll be level 5, our next skill up, and we'll put one in the mending. Alright, let me, uh, let's see if we can add a couple more. And I had a building plan there, I just forgot I had it. Alright, let me see if I can add a couple more foundations, make this a little wider, and you guys can see it better. See, it snaps pretty good. Well, okay, it's just it's a little it's a little work in progress. All right, let's go ahead and put our workbench down. Uh, let's see, we could put some walls up. Uh, don't want my front door facing. Let's see. There we go. I don't know if I want my door facing that or the road. Let's put it facing the road, and we can put a window here. Uh, where's the window? And we'll put a... Come on. Window there. Window there. And then the regular walls. The walls definitely snap better than the foundation. There we go. Alright, so we got a basic base now. 
There we go. Let's put our workbench down and see what we can make with it. Uh, let's see. Rotate. Middle mouse. Very nice. All right. Now let's see what we can craft here. So we should be able to craft a Band-Aid now. Wall torch, cool. Stop sign, ten bolts, three metal. This is a weapon. You have to find part of it. Uh, metal hatchet, ooh. Metal ingots, I think we have to make a fabricator for that. Band-Aid, five paper, two plastic. Five paper. Uh, oh, I have it, okay craft it. Now, I want to see if that increases my healing. Oh, cool. It's got a little sound. Alright. There. We're at 45. Okay, it does increase our healing. And we're almost out of food. I do have water. That's not going to help my food any, though. Uh, all I have is empty cans. Yeah. All right. Um, and I can't make a storage box. Darn it. Yeah, I'm going to die now because I don't have any food. Yeah, probably shouldn't have wasted that band-aid. Darn it. Okay, well, we're going to spawn, respawn right here get all our stuff. I'll show you guys what happens when you die. Yeah. Okay, so we starved to death. So, we can respawn. Or I can go back to the main menu and load an old save. I'm just going to respawn. And it should put us here in our newly crafted base. Oh, it didn't. Darn it. Interesting. Okay. So, um, I'm going to leave all this stuff here. For now, it put us at our old base, which is interesting. Alright. So now I just gotta get back to the newly crafted base, which I think I know where it's at. So I don't know. Oh! I do know. I just thought. I'm sure. Because I didn't destroy this bed. Yep. Now it should, when we respawn now, it should put us at the new base. Alright, let me run back over to our new base. I think I can find it. Just in case we run into some trouble along the way. There we go. Okay, there's the water tower. So we know we're on the other side of that. There's some pretty rec recognizable things here in the POIs. So to make it easier to find my base and find my old base, well, I need to go back to that. Yeah, this is the edge of the map right here, so we should be good to go. And because I destroyed that old bed, the new bed should be our spawn point. I see my base from here. So when you die, you respawn with 10 points less. And I don't know what the timer is to get back to your body. I hope I made it in time. There it is. Open loot. Take all. Cool. Alright, we made it. Uh, there's probably still something in there. Oh yeah, an extra hammer. And extra torch. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Now, real quick, let's see what else we can make here. Well, we got a little time. Uh, you can make a plastic bottle, wood planks. Ooh, gun parts, furnace. That needs flint. I had some flint in my old chest. 
research table. Okay, I'm sure that's for new um, new recipes. Water catcher, wall torch. That'll be cool. Spiked walls. We can make the chair. We can make the band-aid. Now, do I have more plastic? Yeah, I have plastic over there. Um, so what I was hoping was I could make nails. Because you need nails to craft the storage chest. Where's it at? Simple chest. I need five nails. Maybe he'll make, in the update, maybe he'll make it so we can pick up our old chest. I don't know. I'm just checking all this stuff out to show you guys. Those are all house parts, fuel, gun, or the stop sign, ammo, and tools. Okay. All right, cool. All right, guys. Well, um, I got done what I wanted to as far as our base. Let's see. Go ahead and put this, these items back down here. And now I gotta go loot for some food and nails because I don't want to lose all this stuff again. And I'm I'm sure. Let's see. If I drop an item, I don't know how long that'll persist. I'm gonna leave that building plan there and see if that persists. And probably by the next episode, he'll have his update out, and uh, we'll be able to uh, do a lot more things. There's, I, I don't know how to make this active other than just I destroyed the old one. So this should be the new active one when I spawn in. So, uh, all right. Uh, let's see. We'll make the I'll make the roof and stuff off camera. Uh, fireplace. What do I need for the fireplace? Uh, campfire. Oh, I need stone. Okay. Yeah, I'll make all that off camera. So our next episode, again, maybe I'll be covering the new update. But I'm glad I got to show you the, the trader camp. And uh, how we get leather. That was uh, he's going to work on a tutorial. The developer he's going to make a tutorial in the game because he doesn't currently have one. Uh, and a lot of that stuff I just learned by doing a little research. So um, all right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. If you like this episode, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one that subscribes. And make sure and join me for more episodes of Junk Survivor. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.